The top three challenges for companies who are data-driven uh, in Asia and Southeast Asia would include things like um, the regulatory authorities and uh, what they're allowed to put in the cloud from a, a governance point of view. Um, things like data sovereignty, so having data residing in a data center or in a platform in a different country um, is sometimes you know, a challenge. And then finally, the third one would be around security or the lack of awareness of, um, of what products like Snowflake uh, can, uh, are designed in regards of protecting um, their data and, and the security that comes with it. So uh, I think if I had to pick three things, they would be the three challenges that companies would face in terms of embracing cloud, making sure that they're all in order. I think there's a number of ways that Snowflake can address these challenges. And that is we're rolling out more deployments or more instances in countries to, sort with the, to help with the data sovereignty you know, questions. Um, so as Snowflake progresses, we'll have more and more deployments on, on multiple different cloud platforms that can service more com com uh, companies in countries where they don't currently have access to data in their country in the cloud. That's one thing. So the second one would be you know, helping to educate the government in the advancement of security in products like ours that have been designed um, with the cloud in mind, but also designed from the beginning with security as a key foundation of the architecture of the technology. So you know, those are the things that we're looking to do. Those are the things that I think are going to be the most uh, helpful for companies that want to uh, kind of shortcut some of those um, boundaries and get to the cloud faster.